Hello and welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. If you are joining us for the first time today, I think you've missed out a bit, but don't worry. There's always a playback at 4.30 and they were also live on YouTube, so you can go find us there. Uh, we just had Tony Ame in the building, so thank you so much, Tony, for joining us. But we're back, the team, Eni, Ife and I, and we're going to discuss the next conversation of the day, which is Nigerian investigative journalist Kemi Olunoloyo, who has returned. <laughs> who has returned from her social media break to reveal why Davido isn't dominating with Skid and Burner Boy on the international music scene, despite being American. Well, she's saying, Dr. Kemi is saying that Davido's American, Davido's American background, ch childhood, um, background should have influenced his international appeal, yet the story is starkly opposite. According to her, Davido's inability to grow more international music recognition with his closest rivals, Whiskid and Burner Boy, is a sign that he isn't just he, that he isn't better than them. In her words, she tweeted, "Davido is not as talented as Whiskid and Burner Boy. He's American and supposed to be one getting more international um, attention from global music reporters and the Academy of Recording Arts and Science. Recall that Whiskid and Burner Boy um, bagged several nominations with the highly revered rever um, Grammy Awards while Davido got known. And I guess that's, that's where her conversation is coming from, but I want to know you guys' thoughts. I don't even know why we're having this conversation because um, whoever says Davido is not talented is definitely delusional. <laughs> No, no, no. Let's let's True. let's let's be let, let, let us be realistic. Um, a lot of people want to argue now and say that oh yeah, he buys the music, he buys the music. I was of that school of thought too until somebody actually schooled me. I was like, look, if I sell you fire, fire, but can I deliver it the way a David O will? Mm. Will I put in as much energy? If I get on stage, will I be able to jump around and sweat the way that guy does? Back to mm. back. Do you back. understand? True. Like, it's delivery that counts. So that's not even the conversation we should be having anymore. Mm -hmm. And why are they bagging international recognition? Who says David O doesn't have international, international recognition? recognition? The fact that you didn't make it to the Grammys, you didn't make it to... Um, he has other international awards. Why is she ignoring all of that and just focusing on the um, academy? Mm -hmm. I think it's absurd, and I think it's coming from a place of hate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this same woman was the same person before the year ended uh, in 2020. In 2020, what, yeah, 2020. 2020. I've been yeah, in 2021 for a while. I'm now. telling you. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like we're almost in 2022. Like 21, 20, yeah. almost finishing yeah. now. Yeah, so the f she's the same person that came to ap apologize to David Doe, mm -hmm. saying that all the things, she doesn't want no problems no more. So I don't get it. Is it that... Oh, it's just for <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just uh, like, like from a place of beef. You know, um, like you said, Kemi Olu Loyo. I pronounce it. I got the pronunciation. Olu Loyo. Olu Loyo. Whatever it is. Okay, Kemi Olu Loyo. Oh God, it has a good yoga girl. Kemi Olu Loyo is someone that just strikes me like she has always had beef with Davido. I've seen so many times like twelve of them have shared bands. Yes, she shared bands. Uh, twelve of them have shared bands on social media. So she's saying this is not really shocking to me because what she's uh, what she just said just makes me know that she she didn't do her research. She does not really know about Davido. She just said it like that because. If you know, has done quite well. Even not to just two season because I'm number one fan, but even with his album, you're number two because I'm number one. Uh, oh God. <laughs> we'll debate that position later. Just for you to say that just shows that you actually don't know. You don't listen to his music. You're not paying attention to the amount or like um, awards he has gained. He was even on the show. Okay, I don't think I'm allowed to call it, but this Nick um, Cannon show. Yeah, I yeah. think that's the only African uh, Nigerian. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm, okay, there. okay. That has been on that show. That sh yeah. that proves something for yeah. crying out loud. Yeah. So she's saying this and just. I mean, it's, it's, mm -hmm. I like the that you brought up bias, and you know sometimes people don't think that they are biased until they actions show it like mm -hmm. this lady is not a joke when it comes to researching and investigating and all of that so to see how bias actually displays itself when oh, someone researched. exactly <laughs> she can be just because uh, bias has clouded your mm -hmm. judgment so i think that's a, like a real thing and what does uh, being american got to do with it yeah, yeah. i think you the narrative many american mm -hmm. musicians that have never been they, how they, about they perform in america thank you stream in america <laughs> and i'm not as everything. big as and david do in a, that mm -hmm. is not living in america <laughs> Like some are even bigger than uh, Bonner Boy, Whiskey, than uh, David Doe combined, combined and they have never been nominated, nominated for a Grammy. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I think we, um, it was on this show too that we discussed about awards. Like, it doesn't really, um, awards doesn't determine how good or how wonderful you are as an artist. It doesn't tell on that because yeah. it can be biased. So, I, I think this is yeah. this is us helping Kemi do a bit more research. He's mm -hmm. had a lot of platinum plaques in Canada and America, mm -hmm. in the UK. Like, he's big, he's big. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you guys have said everything and I agree. But I want to, I, I do have to say, maybe what she was on to, maybe she, I don't know, maybe she was just too hateful to even understand what she, she herself is coming from. But I think that there is a, a point to say that his music is not as exportable mm -hmm. um, as to more corners in the international space no, as indeed. David Doe and Burner Boys. Mm -hmm. I, I think, mean, as Whiskey and Burner Boys. But that does not take, to my opinion, that doesn't take away his talent. Um, his, his talent because the same thing would be reversed. I think that some of Whiskey's sound and Burner Boys' sound that can't enter the same spaces that David Doe's songs mm -hmm. would... Now, that, you, now um, you're, that you're bringing this up, let's just shake that table. Okay. I think um, David Doe's sound is readily available even when it is not David Doe. Somebody else can make David O's kind of music. Mm. Yeah, there are a lot of other artists that make music that very easy. Me up. They make David O's type of music. Who makes whiskey type of music? Nobody. Uh. Who makes Bonner Boys type of music? Nobody. Uh. I feel so I think the want only to share that way to, to me. I think to make that table okay. is only Bonner Boys sound in my opinion. Yes, that will agree. That that I, think, I think I agree because yeah. I have whiskey, a lot of people that try to... A lot of people sound no, like whiskey. They, a lot of people they, they sing know. like... Actually, no. this new whiskey is so like... It's so alti. Enter the alti stream. Everybody sounds like Whiskey's mm -hmm. um, Made in Lagos album. Mm -hmm. That thing yeah. showed me that this guy, he's a, he's a Whiskey. Trend setter. Whi yeah, this. Ugh, I mean, wow. he's a trend. No, he oh, does. He colobies um, <laughs> trends. He sees a, a trend and he does it better than all those people that mm -hmm. are in the trend. But he shall. He's not gonna start. He's not the talent, one that starts. Man. I think they don't do the same thing. So if you want to, I think so they do too. the same Where, thing. But well, I, think I, think, I think let's leave Bonner Boy. Yeah, Bonner Boy is on his own. On his own name. He's running his race. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, nobody mm -hmm. did I, I, yeah. Yeah. Did did that. Yeah. Even gave us that kind of like to party. So what he did with. You know what he did with Jerry Stanley. We never heard that sound in Nigeria until Bonner Boy dropped like to party. So yeah, I think. I think Bonner Boy is the only person. Bonner Boy wins this. This, yeah. this, 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 this particular, this particular competition. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> yeah. So, and, and, and in regards to that, but you see, the thing about David Doe and, and Whiskey and Burner Boy, even, because I'm sure even Burner Boy as well, putting his horn mm -hmm. so much, there could be somebody out there doing it just as hard, but hasn't gotten the recognition. Mm -hmm. Hasn't got it. With a Burner Boy sound? Yes. Mm -hmm. hasn't got, he could be on SoundCloud just chilling there. Nobody has heard anything from him. I've heard from someone him. that actually has Burner Boy sound, though, and I listened to him on Saturday, on okay. Sunday. Mm -hmm. on Sunday. I so think so, too. I, think I went I to think a studio, mm -hmm. and all of these guys do not sound like anything you've heard. Mm -hmm. They are dope. They are full. Yeah. Flows of, but producers are saying they sing. Mm -hmm. That's how talented the house is, and they yeah. haven't blown. Uh, yeah. Just hard working there's, guy, yeah. and, they, and there's, a, there's a home studio, so they're always recording. So they played series of tracks, and I'm like, Why are those songs not out yeah, there? Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so, I even Bernard Boy, let's let's all calm down. But I think there's a space for you, and that space is yours. And if it's not, it's not. Sure. Um, and I don't think it's anything for me, my personal opinion. I cannot use this, this, this conversation. In, um, and value it in any way to discuss who's better than who because I'm not about to use international recognition. Let's make that, let's, let's break mm. that word international recognition. Just I'm go. talking about Western rec recognition. Mm -hmm. You're telling me that an African artist is more valuable when the white man has said, "Well done." Are you? Mm. Uh, what are you actually like smoking? In, in my opinion, if you are getting more international recognition from outside and you are supposed to be targeting the Nigerian or the African community, I think you feel as a black man. It means that you are soothing the <laughs> ego of uh, because let's be real. The sound is very, very different. Okay. If Davido has said he's a Nigerian man, he wants to sing Nigerian music mm -hmm. for the Nigerian people. Let him do that well. Okay. And if the white people find it too hard to understand what he's saying, that is the white people's problem. In my opinion, it's like, it's like saying that Burner Boy is not talented because he's not going to win the award um, no. with, with the Grammys and, and mm -hmm. stuff. Like, come back to your people. What The people that you are singing it for. Except but, um, Davido has said he wants international recognition. That's what was going to make him happy. Then he's failing in that department. Mm -hmm. But I think he's happy where he is. After mm -hmm. Davido saw this post from Kemi Lulloyo, what do you guys think he would have said? Too late, Joe. Too late. Too late. I think that's too what I said. Too late. But I think they're all really good artists. The competition mm -hmm. is, is, is ridiculous. 
ridiculous. True. I think the hate for Davido is something I can never really understand. No, it's a lot to about. True. People I hate greatness know. all the time. But Davido's one is a bit different to me. Just like the other day, like you just kept and was replying to Mikmi when they called him Beggy Baby. Exactly. Like, Come on now. I think it's like, a bit they different. They literally wait for well, him to Maybe do he's so. also because he's the one that talks the most. Whiskey doesn't really talk that much. How, what do you want to, how do you want to drag Whiskey? He won't even answer you. But now Burnley talks like and that. he wants to fight. Exactly. He, he comes yeah. <laughs> he comes ready. Yeah. As well. yeah, he comes ready. Yeah, he comes ready. comes out when he wants to fight. Yeah, he has to So he, 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 he has ready response. Yeah. Okay. They will tackle. I'm sure Bonaboy is a strategic yeah. type that, uh -huh. okay, I'll tweet this thing. You know? yeah. okay. okay, one person go write like this. One person go like this. I'll answer uh, this. Reply, this yeah. I'll answer this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yeah. that he runs back again. And you know, he runs back. Yeah. I just keep quiet. David, don't so much in your face. I feel like he's our he's our like um celebrity next door neighbor. Like you see him everywhere. You catch him at the spa. Especially if you're in Facebook, you'll just be seeing um mm. David everywhere. I guess the sea finish or whatever. Because I, I I don't understand it. Anyway, I, I think this conversation we did really well. Based yep. on the fact that we're also um team whiskey, Made team um, whatever. Mm -hmm. well, I, mean, I think we're bigger than Kemi's hate. So yeah. well done. All right. <laughs> that is all that we can take today on today's episode. I hope you did enjoy this conversation. Thank you so much for watching. You can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can also catch up on all our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Arte TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you. We've got my co anchors Eniola and Ife for joining me today. And of course, our guest. Tony Ame, the plug for your premium lifestyle and the entire production team. Thank you so much. My name is Ife Omai, your favorite. Bye.